Yo, what is up, Latin Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. We are in the Mega Cab Longhorn Cummins, the 2018 that is up for the giveaway right now, which by the way, every $15 spent at team-lmp.myshopify.com is another entry to win either this truck or my nice, beautiful 1991 five-speed first gen. But anyways, all that aside, you guys know that the giveaway is going on. And if you don't, I, well, there you go. There's a link in the description to the website. We're gonna talk about some big things on the first gen, the two-wheel drive first gen build, because uh, yeah, you, you'll hear about that in just a minute. But I wanted to show you guys how this truck cold starts. Now, it's not for, like terribly cold out, but it's probably about 35, and the truck sat for about 15 hours straight now. But all I'm gonna show you is how this thing uh, cycles um, before it starts because I had some guys asking some questions like dude like if it's a push button start Then you don't get to hold the key and wait and cycle it and then start it up So how does that work? You know, you know, let us know how that works and show us and so all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot on the brake The lights come on on the dash Which is basically just letting the truck know that you are present in the vehicle The keys are right here and the keys have to be within the door jam basically um, Or it won't let you do this and then all you're gonna do is push the button you can take your foot off the brake and it says diesel preheat in process please wait for automatic engine start so basically this thing will just sit here cycle your engine as long as necessary for the temperatures that it currently is outside it says that it's 39 I think it's actually a little bit colder than that so basically it'll just cycle itself um, until it feels it is necessary and then it will start the truck up so on some days where it's a lot colder for example there was a morning it was about 30 degrees I think a little over a week ago this thing cycled longer than that that was a pretty quick cycle let's get into the barn we're gonna start tearing some stuff off of the first gen and then we're gonna get into talking about all these stuff that I just ordered for the truck and a quick little rundown on the plans for it okay people so here is the uh, all these wonderful leaves falling on the I love fall but I hate when the leaves fall over the all fall all over the trucks but so here's this red first and that's gonna be up for grabs in this giveaway too it ends December 5th and I also want to stress to you guys that you will pay nothing to get the vehicle to your driveway okay so let's say you live in California or you live in Florida or you live in Texas if you have to pay anything to get this thing to your drive I take care of that cost so if you're in Texas and you don't want to make a drive don't worry about it we will have it shipped to you and delivered to your door wherever you want that to be um, or if you want to come get it and you want to come hang out you want to come see the trucks and the progress of the bills and hang out for a day and then go home um, we will pay we when I say we I mean I will pay for your airfare your cost to fly up here um, to then drive it back or I will pay for you know your stay or you know anything like that so don't worry about those expenses guys um, now of course if you're local and you want to just drive over and get it yourself then then that's obviously totally cool and that's that's totally up to you but um, um, do not worry about costs in terms of shipping or getting or delivering the vehicle or anything like that because I will take that a personal uh, responsibility to make sure that I guess taken care of so we got the old we got the old scrapper, as my brother calls it. The old scrapper truck is what he calls it. But um, we're going to start this bad girl up. So it has not been started for, shoot, I want to say three weeks. Um, I didn't have the bucket over the stack, so there shouldn't be any water down in there. Not that it'd be that big of a deal, because by the time it would go down and go back up and go up to the turf, I mean, it's not going to really do anything there. But... Um, we're gonna start this thing up. I, I I used to daily drive this truck quite a bit, honestly. Once I bought it, this was pretty much my daily, and you can see the difference in this compared to a compared to a 2018 Longhorn. It's a it's a little bit different. So we're gonna get this truck fired up here. I'm gonna have your view out here. Reach in and grab my key. He says we're good to go. cannot be a first gen in the way a first gen starts. It is just, those VE pumps, man, they just light up so quick. The, the ignition time is just, cr I mean, it's crazy. It is awesome. Got 
got our anthem wheels. We need some washing. It's collecting a lot of dust. More anthem wheels. Definitely go check out Anthem. It's uh, it's not easy coming across a good sponsor. Anthem is definitely a good one. They make a really good product, that's for sure. So we're gonna get this truck back into the barn over there, and then we'll talk about uh, what we're doing with them. Keep in mind, this is the Mega Cab you could be winning. It's a Mega Cab Longhorn 2018. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Still has factory warranty, guys. Factory warranty. It's a brand new truck, so it's got, of course, warranty. Nothing's been goofed with. And I have had a lot of guys ask if I have the factory style wheels for that red first gen, because I don't know why, but apparently they some guys would like to just have factories and then I would keep the um, aftermarket ones, which look way better anyhow. But anyways, if, if you would win that red truck and you want the factory wheels, here are some factory ones. so bad. I'm so excited. This build is finally going to be starting and I do apologize for the wait. I, ha I do read the comments and I do see how some people are kind of like, oh dude, I'm done watching because, you know, nothing's ever going to happen and no build stuff ever happens and all stuff. And I understand. It's, I understand the wait. It sucks. Um, but you also have to take in consideration I have to come up with the funds to pay for all this stuff, which is why I'm trying to do the giveaways and stuff like that to be able to actually buy these parts because YouTube... I don't know how many of you guys realize this, but unless you are one of the really, really big car channels, YouTube does not pay for those parts, okay? Like, there's no way in the world the channel my size can give away trucks and can pay for all the parts for this kind of stuff unless I do something like truck giveaways and stuff like that to be able to give trucks back, but then also to be able to have at least enough money to be able to pay for all the parts and to keep the next thing going and plan out the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. We do have a plan for this truck now, and some of you guys might be a little bit in a way let down and then I think most of you are going to be completely okay with it and you should be because it's still going to be freaking awesome so with this truck the the goal that I had way back way back I'm talking like back when I first bought it was let's do a 400 horse build okay that was my goal and then I was like you know what screw that crap we're going 600 and I was like you know what? screw that we're going 750 horse like it's going to be awesome right I got to a point where I was going to I was thinking about it I was really thinking hard and I'm like, you know what? As cool as that would be, I don't want to dump 15 grand to, fifteen grand into this thing right this very minute because it just wouldn't be smart of me to do financially. It just would not make a lot of sense to do that. Um, could I? Yes, but there's other things that I should be paying for too other than just this one truck. You know what I mean? Because stuff, stuff pops up all the time. Even if I say I'm only gonna do 400 with this truck, you could have a $2,000 bill pop up here, another 2,000 pop up here. like. It just, it just happens like that. So I want to be able to make sure that I have the fun set back just in case random stuff, just, just crap happens. You know what I mean? So basically what we're going to do with this truck is a 400 horsepower build. And I'll try to run down some of the basic reasons as to why we're going to do that. Um, reason number one, I don't want to have to pull the engine. Now, would that be better to pull the engine, reseal everything and all that stuff? Absolutely, but I just don't know if I want to have I, the time wrapped up in it and more importantly the funds wrapped up in doing that right now because that's just a lot more that I just don't want to be dealing with right now because I've already got a lot of stuff on my plate and I don't know if I want to have more time delays, you know, have the truck not in my shop with somebody else working on it and I can't even make the videos. I'm just dumping money and I can't film anything. I made the decision based on what's going to be best for the channel, what's going to be best financially, and what's going to bring you guys the most content while letting me do most all the work by myself instead of having to source work out. Okay, so I hope you guys can understand that's why I'm going with the build that I'm doing is because then I can do it in my shop 
helpful. This shop is my dad's. Um, in my dad's shop, um, and be able to do this stuff with my tools that I have provided here and not have to outsource work and pay thousands and thousands of dollars more in parts and thousands of dollars in time and labor and then get way less video out of it and way less entertainment for you guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to run with a compound turbo setup still. What we're going to do is we're going to be running the factory turbo over an S475. We're going to have a three-piece manifold on it, downpipe kit, all the stuff, the cold air intake, all that jazz. We're also going to intercool swap the truck, but we're not just going to do like a second gen intercooler or a factory first gen intercooler. What we're going to be running is actually a 73 power stroke, a 99 to 03 power stroke um, intercooler. I've done some research and stuff and guys are saying that is a really good route to go if you want to use the factory core support um, and do minimal changes and they just fit way nicer apparently, but they're more of an upgrade than the first gen ones, but they're not so, so much more intercooler that you have to do all kinds of crazy stuff to make them work. So I think it'd be um, very sufficient for the 400 horse goal that we're going with. We're going to be trying to run, actually not trying, we are going to have to because I already bought it. Um, we're going to be running a Banks twin air intake. Might have to do a little bit of modification to make it work because it's for the second gens, but we shouldn't have too many issues with that. So then we're also going to be running obviously some bigger injectors. We're going to have to get a lift pump for it. The lift pump probably isn't going to be installed here instantly. I'm going to try to build everything else in the engine um, with the fuel and stuff, everything that it can do. And then what we're probably going to do is baby the truck over to a shop and actually have for something like that, actually have a shop install the lift pump because they'll do it for, you know, 700 bucks installed. And the pump itself is almost 700. So um, if they get them at a better deal and they can install them for pretty cheap, then I'm just going to, I'm just going to go that route to save money and time and they can do it within probably a day. They'll have it done. So that's what we're going to go with in terms of that route. We're going to do 60 pound valve springs. We're going to do a 3,200 RPM governor spring on this truck. Um, and of course we are going to be keeping the factory VE pump. And so the goal with this truck is going to be between 350 and 400 horse. And before anybody, you know, goes, oh my gosh, you can't run compounds if you're only going to be running that low of a, the horsepower level, you actually can. The compound turbo system kit that I'm going with, since it does run off of the factory to an S475, you can actually effectively and efficiently run um, that compound turbo kit. Now it's good for 600 horse, but it's also good for stock power levels. They said you can actually run that on a stock power level truck and it'll go from 150 horse to 600 horse. And obviously just the more fuel mods and the more work that you do, the more you can take into, take advantage of that turbo setup. Um, but just because, you know, it's got that big turbo down there doesn't mean that you can't use it on, you know, under 600 horse, okay? So I think it would be, it's gonna be a good happy medium and it's gonna do the truck a lot of justice. And I know, trust me, I was looking forward to the 700 horse thing too, but quite honestly guys this truck with 350 horse even is going to freaking rip i mean it's going to be in insane um you might not think it but this truck is so light and so small i mean i don't know how much justice the camera does but this truck is not very big most of the weight is just the engine you know what i mean um the rest of the truck doesn't have a ton of weight to it but so that's what we're looking forward to that's what we're going to be running is a 350 to 400 horse goal so we can still run the factory VE pump and uh yeah so that's what we're going to do that is what we are going to do. Of course, we're going to be running 60 pound valve springs. We're going to, we're going to head stud the thing. Also going to do the KDP tab on this truck. And what else? I know there's some other stuff. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there's a good idea of what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be running on the truck. Now, how many miles this thing actually has on it? I have no flipping idea. I really do not have any clue whatsoever. Um, but regardless, we're gonna give it the beans, boys. We're gonna we're gonna throw the power at it, and uh, if it runs forever, it runs forever. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But of course, the goal is to try to make this truck run efficiently and run good, and just have a lot of power. And it's gonna be a lot of flipping fun. I'm super super stoked about this, quite honestly, and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. This time, the build goal. I mean, like. I've already ordered half the parts for it, so they're gonna be in within a couple days. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are still satisfied with the build content that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. And this is gonna be a time where we can finally get back to doing it and doing videos pretty much every day if I can, but for sure every other day. Um, and then you guys are gonna have continuous content for the people that either can't enter the giveaways because let's say they're in Canada or you know some other country or they just don't want to participate. That is totally cool. Um, but just know that those people that are participating, they're the ones that are paying um, for the build content so you guys can watch videos in the first place because that's the whole point of these giveaways. 
all, people do giveaways for all different reasons. For me, I just want to be able to have the funds to actually build the trucks and actually do cool stuff and buy cool trucks and actually get some work done on them. But it's very expensive and the giveaways are pretty much the only way to actually be able to pay for that kind of stuff and pay for the trucks and all the bills that are associated with that. So I hope, hopefully you guys can understand and hopefully you guys enjoy that video. Definitely enter the LNP Longhorn giveaway link in the description. I'm going to leave a little description of kind of how you enter and stuff like that down below. Definitely go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are stopping in for the first time, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family now. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.